Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Ashana, also known on YouTube as Sunasha Fine Art, and today I'm going to share with you my first impression of the Deco Time Aqua Marker. So these are the Aqua Markers from Deco Time, and they are available at the action in sets of 10, 12, and 50. The markers lie in these trays that you can stack on top of each other, but I don't like this system very much because it takes a lot of space on my desk. So I keep all of my markers in this big box and I put the markers straight up because it is easier for me to pick the colors. Markers have two tips. They have a brush tip which is great for big areas and a fine tip which is great for the finer details. I'm going to show you a few techniques that you can do with these markers. And I'm going to show you on three types of paper. The Fabriano Artistical Cold Press Watercolor Paper, the Strathmore Watercolor Paper and the Paint on Mixed Media Paper A4 size. Let's have a look at the techniques. The first method I'm going to show you is where you apply the color of your marker directly on the paper. And you blend the colors out with a paintbrush and a little amount of water. I don't use this technique very much because I have a hard time blending out the colors with water. And you always see the places where you applied the marker on your paper. The second method I'm going to show you is a way different method than the first method. Because for this method I'm going to apply the pigment of the marker on a mixing palette. And I pick up the paint with a paintbrush and then apply this to my paper. I like this method more than the first method because you don't have these marks on your paper and you have a more softer look in color. Let's have a look at the results of both methods. And I'm surprised to see that the first method works very well on the mixed media paint on paper. So yeah, this is kind of a surprise uh, for me. And that the first method doesn't work very well on the Strathmore watercolor paper and the Fabriano Artistical Cold Press watercolor paper. Because both of these papers are made for watercolors. So I'm surprised to see that the first method doesn't work very well. You can see that uh, I have a hard time blending these colors and especially with the dark colors they don't blend out very well on both of these papers. Let's take a look at the results of the second method and this method works very well on both watercolor papers but it doesn't work very well on the paint on mixed media paper because when I applied the paint onto the paper you see a strange white spot onto the paper when you try to smudge out the paint onto your paper so I wouldn't recommend to use this paint on mixed media paper Thank you for watching. If you are interested to watch more of my YouTube videos, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel or if you want to check out more of my artwork, then check out the social media links in the video description. See you next time. Bye bye.